Welcome to the April edition of Rich to India's monthly update on renewable power tenders. I am Drishti Singh, an analyst at Bridge to India, and I'm going to walk you through this update. April saw a decline in tendering activity with 17 new tenders totaling 2,507 megawatt capacity. Most of these tenders were aimed at the agri-solar market. In addition, there were three EPC sub-tenders totaling 800 megawatt and a storage tender of 1500 MW and 9000 MWh capacity. A 300 MW floating solar tender by RAMS was cancelled and then reissued because of tariffs as high as Rs 3.704 kWh quoted by Hinduja and SJVN. On the rooftop solar side, activity was really slow with four minor tenders in the month. The big news was completion of auctions for six project development tenders totaling 3,950 megawatt, making April the best month for project auctions in the last one and a half years. Bid submission date was extended for 24 tenders. Now let's discuss key tenders issued during the month. Haryana's UHPVN issued a 500 megawatt solar tender, first such tender by the state since August 2019. Projects must be developed in Haryana. Maximum allowed bid size is only 10 MW. RAMS has reissued its second branch of the 300 MW Omkareshwar floating solar tender after cancelling the previous allocation. Tender capacity is divided into three projects of up to 100 MW each. Minimum bid capacity for the first and third project is 80 MW and 90 MW for the second project. Maharashtra's issuance spree continues as the DISCOM issued a whopping 8 agri-feeder tenders totaling 984 MW capacity. Projects will be located across 19 districts in Maharashtra. UP NEDA issued a 150 MW solar tender under Component C of Kusum scheme. Past record of UP NEDA's Kusum tenders has also been poor with both tenders cancelled due to high bids. NHPC issued a 300 MW floating solar EPC tender for Rengali Reservoir in Angul district of Odisha. NHPC had previously issued a 100 MW tender in August 2021 for the same location and subsequently cancelled it. The three EPC sub-tenders were issued by SECI, NTPC and NLC to implement projects 1 under IREDA PSU Tranche 3 tender. The project locations are Andhra Pradesh, Gujarat and Pan India respectively. NTPC issued another major storage project development tender for 1500 MW and 9000 MWh capacity. Projects can be located anywhere in India. NTPC plans to use this power to supply RTC and peak power to its customers. The company has already signed a 500 MW and 3000 MWh pumped hydro storage project with Greenco. Now let's look at six auctions in the month. In RUC's 1,250 megawatt solar auctions, winning tariffs came in the rupees 2.55 to 2.56 range from NG, Renew, and NTPC. In REC's second auction for 500 megawatt solar tender, tariffs were slightly higher at rupees 2.70 per kilowatt hour, with winners including Renew and Avada. Powers from these tenders will be bought by NTPC and DVC respectively for blending with thermal power as part of MOP's flexibility in generation and scheduling of thermal and hydro power stations through bundling with renewable power scheme. In Seki's 1200 MW peak power tender, AMP, Renew, Hero and Act May were the winners at an average tariff of Rs 4.70 per kilowatt hour. 14% higher than in Seki's last peak power auction held in January 2020. Projects must be able to supply 100% energy during 4 peak hours every day. Indian Railways completed a pioneering auction for round-the-clock power. The average winning tariff was Rs 4.10 across Spring, NTPC, IANA and O2. Minimum CUF for hybrid projects is 75% for the first four years and 85% for the remaining PPA tenure, along with 50% CUF for each 15-minute time block. MSEDCL allocated 500 MW solar capacity at an average tariff of Rs 2.88 per kilowatt hour to Sukhbir Agro and Avada. Tariffs were 2% lower than in MSEDCL's last solar auction in December 2022. 
GUVNL completed a 500 megawatt solar auction with an average tariff of rupees 2.73 per kilowatt hour, 8% higher than in its January 2023 auction. Developers have become pragmatic with their bids after the January auction and have placed higher bids for a better rate of return on the projects. With this, we conclude the April tender update. We anticipate tender activity, specifically auctions, to remain up in the next few months. As this slide shows, quantum of tenders with auctions yet to be held has built up to an all-time high of 42,788 megawatt. We hope you found this update useful. You can view all tender, policy and regulatory information on the renewable power sector 24-7 at India RE Navigator, a one-stop market intelligence portal for the renewable sector. You can also write to us at contact at bridgetoindia.com if you have a query or feedback. We would love to hear back from you. We'll be back next month with another update. Thank you and goodbye.